Well, good morning and welcome again to another podcast, Down to Earth, but Heavenly Minded. I'm your host, Irv Rish. I'm going to stop sharing this for a minute here. I just wanted to uh, talk to you this morning about the family of God. Uh, but before I do, I just want to thank you for listening to my podcast and welcoming me into your home or uh, into your life, wherever you happen to be. Uh, what I have to say, sometimes, uh, I have a problem with rambling on a little bit, but what I have to say, I believe is very important. When you're talking about the family of God, uh, there's a, a misconception here. I ran across a little article and I'm just going to share a little bit of it with you because it is very short. And it's based on the scripture that's found in John 1.12. Uh, it uh, is where the Lord came unto his own and his own received him not. But it says, but as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become the children of God even to those who believe on his name. Simple words, uh, short verse, right to the point. Now this article says that man uh, in his natural wisdom rationalizes that uh, everybody is born of God uh, and are members of the family of of God. But that's the human side of us or mankind. All members of we are all members of the same family, the human race or the human family. When we are born into the world, the word of God makes it emphatically clear that by nature, we are. We are what? We are all members of the human race, but we are not all members of God's family. You have to be born spiritually. I know that I had a problem. I'm gonna set that aside here. I had a problem in that area. trying to understand what being born again is or born of God. I got my Bible here. I'm just going to read that portion of scripture that I just quoted that one verse out of so you get it in context. It says the true light, which gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. And that was Jesus Christ when he came. He was in the world, and a world was made through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own people, the Jews, did not receive him, but to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become the children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. You have to be born of God to be in his family. This portion of scripture that I'm going to share with you right now is what convinced me of how to be born of God. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, or master, or teacher, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do the signs or the miracles that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered him, truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, He cannot see the kingdom of God. You can't even see the kingdom of God. Well, 
we're going to talk a little bit about being born again, uh, the real meaning of being born again. Mankind has distorted the meaning, but God is very clear in his word. And Nicodemus said to him, how can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? You know, when I was reading this, I would have asked the Lord the same question. It was like I was having a conversation with God or with the Lord Jesus Christ. Yet, uh, I didn't quite understand what he was saying. And Jesus answered, truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh. That which is born of spirit is spirit. I want to explain something to you once. We have two sentences saying exactly the same thing. And man wants to twist them. It says that that which is born of flesh is flesh. That which is born of spirit is spirit. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and of spirit. Were you born of water? I believe you were. I know I was. My mother's water broke and I came out. That's how being born uh, of water. Now, how do we be born of spirit? That's another whole thing. We have to be born of the spirit, born again a second time. Not just being born in the flesh. We have to be born in the flesh. That's our nature, our natural uh, fleshly being that we are. And that makes us part of the family uh, of the human race. But how do we become a member of the family of God? Well, Nicodemus said to him, how can these things be? Jesus answered him, are you a teacher of Israel? And yet you do not understand these things? Truly, truly, I say to you, we speak that which we know and bear witness to that which we have seen, but you do not receive our testimony. If I have told you earthly things, you do not believe. How can you believe if I tell you heavenly things? No one can ascend into heaven except he who descended from heaven, the Son of God. And then he gives an Old Testament example to Nicodemus. And Nicodemus should know the scripture. It's right out of Numbers chapter 21. And he says this, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life or be born again, or become a member of the family of God. Now, you might not understand that story from the Old Testament. I'm just gonna explain it to you. The children of Israel were being led out of Egypt, out of captivity. They were enslaved uh, to do hard toil, hard work in Egypt but God brought him out of that. And he was leading them through the wilderness and he was feeding them manna from heaven and water from a rock and their clothes weren't wearing out. God was taking care of them. And yet they grumbled and complained. They wanted to go back into Egypt. Well, God got angry with them. And he had every right to be angry with them, just like he has every right to be angry with us because we have sinned against them. We're like the children of Israel. 
we grumble and complain, and that's what they did. So God sent poisonous snakes among them, and they were biting the people, and they were dying. So all the children of Israel came to the Lord, and he says, pray to, or, or came to Moses, and they said, pray to God that he gets rid of these snakes. So Moses went and he prayed for the people. But God said this to Moses, make a serpent of bronze and set it on a pole. And everyone that is bitten by a poisonous snake, if they look to that bronze serpent, they'll live. It was, God was checking their faith. Now, I really believe that some were bitten by the snakes and they didn't believe God and they died. They didn't look to that snake and live. Well, those that did put their faith in what God had said. You put faith in the word of God and what he says about his son. Just as Moses lifted up that serpent in the wilderness, so must the son of man be lifted up. Christ had to be lifted up on that cross. And just as the people looked at that bronze serpent and they lived, you looked to Christ on that cross. He died for your sins. He was the lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. You do that and you be born of the spirit. The spirit of God will come within you and he'll abide with you and he will direct your paths. He will direct your life to live for God and not for self. So yes, we were all born into the family of the human race, but not all of us were born into the family of God. Going back to chapter one. But to all who have received him, who believe in his name, who believe who he is and what he did, he gave the right to become the children of God, who were not born of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. So you want to get into the family of God? You must be born again. With that, I'm going to end my podcast. Thank you for listening to me. Bye for now.